I love the idea of the foil quilt from We Are Memory Keepers, but does it work with my Scan and Cut? Let's find out. Hi guys, this is Debbie, and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video. Today we're going to look at the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill and see if it will work with my electronic cutting machine, the Brother Scan and Cut SDX125. First we'll go through what's in the box and then we'll try it out on my machine. The contents panel on the side of the box says that there should be three sizes of USB heat pens, standard, fine, and bold. Also included are four cutting machine adapters, three heat activa activated foil rolls in gold, silver, and rose gold, placement tape, a heat resistant plate, and instructions. Then on the other side panel, it says that they should work with the following cutting machines, the Cricut, the Silhouette, the Brother, yay, and Sizzix. So this should work great on my machine. Let's open the box and take a look. So here we have the three colors of foil. And here's the instruction manual. Um, according to the manual, the adapter with a B on it is for the Brother Scan and Cut, so that's the one I'll be using in a bit. I really only glanced at the manual a little before trying it out. I think I was just too excited about this new tool. Coming up, I'll show you what I missed by not reading it. So there are the three USB heat pins. The pink is the fine tip, the light blue is the standard, and the dark blue is the bold. Now the get manual doesn't tell you this, you just have to look at the tips to see which is which. It is pretty obvious. Let's head on over to my scan and cut. From the patterns that came with the machine, I chose a draw file of a flower. And next I'm just resizing it down to fit on the piece of, of foiled cardstock that I've already got set up on the machine. I used some washi tape that I had um, hanging around instead of the washi tape that came with the machine. You may want to try it. Here's one of my mistakes because I used my own and a cheaper kind of cardstock. It's a, a lower, <clears throat> a lower poundage, lower GSM. The washi tape actually ripped my, my cardstock. Isn't that fun? So here I'm just um, sizing it down to, I believe I did about two and a half inches. And then I moved it to one side so I wouldn't waste all of that foil for the one image. Once it is where I want it to be, I'm going to just hit the OK button. And then I'm going to select to draw. Now I'm zoomed out so you can see the rest of the machine. Here's that fine tip um, USB heat pen and I've got it in the B holder. I'm putting that in my machine right where my blade would normally go. I do have it plugged in to the machine. This is one of the things you really need to check the manual on. It does not recommend that you plug these into the machine itself. Uh, the reason for that is it says it doesn't always work for foiling. So what I noticed on my next round of trying to foil is that I was not foiling the whole image that I had picked. Um, the reason for this, of course, is that the heat pen was getting cooler. 
because it wasn't continually heating because of course I had it plugged into my scanning cut. What I wound up doing later, and this is a tip for you, I plugged it in <clears throat> using a USB adapter to a power supply that I already had over there. This is where I have my scanning cut machine plugged in. I've got my printer plugged in. So I just used another one of the outlets on that power strip and plugged the cord in with that. It worked much, much, much better. Again, it was a more, um, I guess a, a thicker, image I did a thank you sentiment to go on a card and it worked great once I plugged it into a regular power supply so if you're not getting a full foiled image and you've got it plugged into your machine that's probably why next I remove the heat pen from the machine so that there's no chance that it's going to damage it by that heat And then I'm going to just remove that card stock. Um, I restuck my, my mat recently so it is a little stickier than I need it to be. And then I'm going to just try to take this washi tape off of the, <laughs> off of the card stock. It's not wanting to come off. And then I noticed also that it started ripping the card stock. Um, I recommend using the tape that comes with it or do what I'm going to be doing. Um, today I'm going to be picking up the magnetic mat that you can get for these. Now here's the neat thing. All of the foil quill stuff right now is on sale at Joann's for 50% off. So I got this, the pens for half off. So for instead of $100, it actually cost me with tax around 40 because I also got an additional 20% off, which is nice. <coughs> So the mat that I'm going to be getting is going to basically cost me about seven, eight dollars. I still have to go pick that up and then try it out with that. And if you guys are interested, I can go ahead and show a video on that as well. So here I've got the tape pulled off and the foil pulled off. And you can see that lovely flower right there in the middle there. Um, this is still salvageable. It didn't damage the, the tape coming up, didn't damage the foil um, image in any way. So I'm going to use that on a card. I think this simple card came out pretty nice. Here are a couple more videos that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you for dropping by and happy crafting.